it is our collective responsibility to say no to this kind of behavior, to help the police in investigating uh, what has gone on here and, and tracking down these people uh, who really represent a threat uh, to our way of life and to respect for our way of life. Mayor John Tory calling on everybody in the city to stand up to hate. Tory joining police and Jewish leaders at a news conference today to denounce recent acts of anti-Semitism at a Toronto condo. Adrian Chong joins us live again from the Anchai Minx Synagogue tonight. And Adrian, you spent some time today with the CEO of Benai Brith, who says there's been a rise in anti-Semitic acts. Yeah, that's right, Dwight. Benai Brith says that they've really seen a sharp increase of reported anti-Semitic crimes over the last, uh, again, five years uh, across Canada. The majority of that is happening right here in Ontario. Of course, this is also where the largest Jewish population is. And today we had a conversation with B'nai B'rith in the same neighborhood where Monday's attack happened. Take a listen. For anyone that knows the area in, in Toronto, Bathurst Street is really a Jewish corridor. A lot of um, houses of worship, a lot of the Jewish community live along here. And uh, just off from that, uh, closer to Yonge Street side, is, uh, is where this event uh, uh, took place at, in a condominium. You know, certainly we've seen uh, more reported incidents, whether it be uh, cases of possible Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. So why has it gone up? I would actually say that it hasn't gone up today. Um, there's a lot more reporting of, of um, targeting of the, of the Muslim community, targeting of the Jewish community lately by the media. And I think this may have a lot to do with what's going on in the United States as well. But I, I think it's important to note that this has been going on for a while. Uh, what is the duty of Torontonians to speak out against this? I think it's the duty of every group to stand up for every other group. I mean, we should not be standing by and seeing any identifiable group uh, targeted for racism, bigotry, or racism. Uh, it's, just, it's just wrong. So that's very important. It's very important to educate. It's very important that people understand the humanity of somebody else. It's very easy in the social media world that we live in right now to send out tweets or Facebook messages um, and not think about the real impact that it may have on another person. Um, so I think we need to, to, to get beyond that a little bit and start um, uh, getting back to, to our basic humanity and understanding that everybody else is a human being regardless of their background and they need to be treated with respect. Now, both the city and police have committed to cracking down on hate crimes, but they say ultimately it is down to Torontonians to report it when they see it and hear it. Dwight, back to you. Thank you, Adrian.